Good morning. Happy Sunday to you. My kids have missed going to church. Um, one of the things they tell me that they miss, one, because they do miss many other things, but I'm just mentioning this one thing, um, is donuts. I usually have to get to church uh, before the rest of the family does. And so when they come to church with dad, they always go through Dunkin' Donuts and get a donut. Um, so they are missing their donuts. So we talked about this. And last Sunday, when we were doing our church service outside, watching our church service, we decided to have a tea party. And so we had tea and scones while we were watching our church service. And I know I've mentioned it before, I love hot tea. I don't drink any coffee at all, but I have to have my tea. And I've mentioned this before too, there are three things that make the perfect cup of tea. You have to start with your tea. Um, this, is a, this is a chamomile tea. Um, and then you have to put the milk in it. So tea is one, milk is another, and the third thing is honey. Honey is, is so much better than sugar. So to have the perfect cup of tea, you need tea and milk and honey. Now, tea is good by itself. I'll drink it without any of that other stuff. And sometimes that's what you want. Milk is good by itself. Sometimes all you want is a cup of milk. And honey is good by itself. Sometimes when I'm doing long runs, um, they have these things called honey stingers and they're just, it's pure honey and it's a way to get quick energy, um, quick sugar to your body when you need it. So I love all of these three things by themselves, but when they're combined, there's something really special about it. Mm. Perfect. I mentioned this today because today is Trinity Sunday. Um, not Trinity Presbyterian Church Sunday, just like last week it wasn't Trinity Presbyterian Church's birthday, but it was the Church United on Pentecost. Today we celebrate Trinity Sunday. Sunday. Trinity meaning God the three and one. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Those three together make up the Trinity. You can take those parts separately. We can have Jesus and we can have God, and we can have the Holy Spirit. But when you put them together, something great and magical happens. Those beings can carry you through life, no matter what life throws at us. Today, our scripture lesson comes from the book of Matthew. It's Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Jesus came near and spoke to them. I've received all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of this present age. So this is the first place in the Bible where God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are mentioned together. And so that is why we celebrate this Sunday being Trinity Sunday. So what I wanna focus on today is that last, verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go. In my Bible lesson on Thursday night, I talked about letting our faith, letting our feet move our faith. And so God gives us this commandment to go. So what do we do with that? How do we go? Well, we take this Trinity with us. We lean on God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to give us the words that we need to say, to call us to the places that we need to be, and to lead us and what we are supposed to do there. So we start with prayer, and we start with listening, and then we go. And so that is our charge today, to go. To go out into the world, spreading what it is that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit has taught us. God has called each and every one of us. You are special to God, and you have been called to share this great message with 
the world. Today I'm wearing uh, one of my Cedar Kirk shirts when we go to the mission trip over the summer. Um, we, it's called Challenge to Change. It's where we work at Cedar Kirk and then we go to Beth L Farm Workers Mission. And so the theme of, it's the same theme every year, um, challenge to change and um, be the change. That's what this shirt says. And our scripture verse for the camp is from Isaiah chapter 1, verses 17, verse 17. Learn to do good, seek justice, help the oppressed, defend the orphan, and plead for the widow. Be the change. Go out into the world spreading God's love. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of dancing because I think this Trinity Sunday, we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in us. And so we're supposed to spread this joy. And so the song that I'm gonna to do today is called Church Clap. And the words to this song, to me, is talking about how people come into church and we clap or we don't clap. But what God really wants us to see is when we leave those doors to the church, he wants to bring that church clap. He wants to bring that joy and that spirit flowing from those doors. Wherever you are gathered today, take this love that's in your heart, this joy that God has called you to bring to the world and take it out. And that's what I think this song inspires me to do. And it gives me joy and inspires me to follow that Holy Spirit, to take this and let my faith move my feet into action. So I hope this song today inspires you to whatever it is that the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit has called you, and you especially, to do today. So here we go. All right, the song that we are gonna dance to today, like I said, is the church clap. Uh, very, it's actually very simple. Looks complicated, but it's not. So you're gonna start off, you're gonna take one step this way and clap, one step this way and clap, take a step back and clap. And then you're gonna take a step forward and you're gonna pivot like this, clap. So that's it, this way, this way, back and pivot. This way, this way, back and pivot. This way, this way, back and pivot, that's it. Um, and then that's during the slow part. You will, you will notice the slow part. And then the beat's going to pick up. When the beat picks up, it's those same left, right, back, front, and pivot. But you're going to jump when you do it. So you're going to start off with this leg and you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, pivot. And there's a clapping that goes with it. The clapping's too much. So you're going to go with this foot and you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And that's it. Um, so if you get lost, just, just kind of jump around and clap because this is what this is all about. I think I have to, okay. Whoopsies, here we go. We got staggers so we don't hurt each other.
That's quite a workout, isn't it? <laughs> so let us pray. God, today we are filled. We are filled with your calling. God, thank you for calling each one of us. Thank you for giving us with special gifts and abilities, God, things that you knew that we could handle. God, inspire us to let our faith move our feet. God, let us leave these places that we have been today and go out into the world, spreading the joy and the good news. God, help us to seek peace and to go after it. God, we love you. In your name we pray, amen. Bye guys. <laughs>